Hey everyone, it's your girl Jess. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica Grissette. My YouTube channel goes by Lady Grissette. I want to take the time and introduce myself because I have gained a few new subscribers since my last video. So thank you so much so much. I am now at 907 subscribers. I'm getting closer to hitting a thousand and I'm just so blessed to have every last one of you here on this YouTube journey with me. Please share my channels with anyone you may know and that would be interested in joining my YouTube family. With that being said, I have so much content coming your way. Sorry it's taking so long. It's the beginning of school year, super busy, had a lot going on. Um, so with that being said, I need to like catch up. Today's video, I'm going to be decorating my hutch for fall and I want to show you guys how that all comes out. My little is down here. She's trying to wave. You'll see her in just a second. Um, and then next week, I have a collaboration with my good friend, Vanessa, and we're going to be decorating the front of our home. Um, she's going to be decorating her porch. I'm going to be decorating my walkway and um, my front yard. So I will link her channel down below so you guys can go check her out. She's an amazing content creator. You guys will love her. So stay tuned for that collaboration. And then I have some more Decorate With Me videos coming out in the near future. I will be doing my living room dining room and kitchen um so stay tuned for that with that being said i don't want to talk you guys ears off because you know i'm good for it you know i'm good for it don't judge me i like to chit and chat i like to chit chat and talk everybody's ears off it is what it is <laughs> um but bear with me um i'm going to probably do like some voiceovers play some music really let you guys enjoy the scenery and show you guys how i really put together this beautiful fall creation you guys wait and see so i'm gonna switch this camera around and get into this video but before i do let's get into these earrings do you see how cute these are it's given fall it's given fall look how cute these are look at my little pumpkins i'm dressed in the fall colors i even got fall socks i'll show you that in just a second you want to show okay we'll show them in two seconds we'll show them in two seconds she wants to show you hello she has like little sticky earrings because she doesn't have her ears pierced because i want my kids to tell me when they're ready for that and make that decision on their own but let me show you says so my little wants to show you hello press on earrings and you guys it was her birthday hold on it was her birthday yesterday september My when dad. was your birthday september 10th and she is four Woo! anyways let me flip the camera around go on lily show them your earrings with your blue tongue <laughs> eating a blue lollipop Ooh, girl turn around let me see oh not your tongue let me see your earrings <laughs> how old are you so pretty no you're not three no more Yes, there you go. Four. Good job. Anyways, you guys. Oh, let me show you guys my fall socks. Oh, Get into my fall socks. Okay, so here's my hutch. I'm going to wipe it down again because I already cleaned, had cleaned it up. Okay, show them your boots. Okay, so pretty. Your fall boots. Okay, put them away. Um, Yes, they are. So this is what I'm working with. I got... Um, this garland that lights up. I got that from Dollar Tree for $5. I have this basket from last year that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And um, this plaid um, napkin that I purchased from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just put some fake pumpkins in there. I'm using the same greenery. Um, this little greenery and this little tin that I used. I think I used this with my apple decor. Yes, I did. And I just clipped on some pumpkins on it because I want a little pop of greenery. And then here are two coffee mugs that I'm going to be using. It says blessed. And the other one says grateful. So I need to use, I'm going to be using those. And then over here. Okay, it's just an acorn. Over here are my pumpkins I'm going to be using, my plates, my wreath. And I have these little frappuccinos she wants me to show you guys. Go on, hold it up so you can see it. Yep, we're going to be using those. I have some pumpkins, um, more pumpkins, signs, this little arrangement that I did in this vase, my cake stand, this sign right here tear tray that little platter that has acorns on it and that's all i'm going to be using it's not going to take me long to do so let's just jump into this video 
All right, so I'm going to take some of these Lysol disinfective wipes because you guys know it's that time of year. Infections come through the house, especially with back to school time. And I like to use my Lysol disinfective wipes to wipe down all my wooden furniture pieces such as my hutch and i do like to clean with the mrs meyer products i already did that off camera so i'm just going to take these lysol disinfective wipes and wipe down my hutch fairly quickly you and me yeah that's all i need and i'll be all right i'll be right here i swear that i'll stay here with you So we're going to get into and start decorating. I absolutely love this pumpkin pie, hot cocoa, candy corn, crispy apples, apple cider, pumpkin spice sign that I purchased from Hobby Lobby last year. I had it on my coffee bar, but this year I'm going to be using it for the top of my hutch. I absolutely love this sign. And then here are the flower picks that I put together in my amber vase that I also purchased from Hobby Lobby last year. The leaves are from walmart and the little berry picks are from dollar tree and i just simply added them together and put them inside of the vase i'm going to put it on the top of my hutch right next to my pumpkin pie sign and i absolutely love how this looks then here are these pumpkin picks that I got for 25 cents each last year when Hobby Lobby had their massive 90% off sale off of the fall decor. So I picked up four of them. You're going to see me place two of them here in front of my amber vase. I love how realistic these pumpkins look. They just are so gorgeous. And then right here is my orange pumpkin that I purchased again from last year from Walmart. And and I'm going to use my little plaid mug to hold it up just to give it some height. I'll be covering that in just a second. So as you can see, I'm just adjusting the sign, trying to place it as evenly as I can in the center. And you're going to see me play around with the top of my hutch um, just a little while longer. And then I actually had those three corns up there already and I decided to just leave them there. They're from Dollar Tree. Here are the two other sets of pumpkin picks that I purchased from Hobby Lobby last year. And I'm just simply putting them in front to hide the mug and I'm loving how this is turning out. I really do love how realistic these pumpkins look. And you guys know I'm doing a pumpkin patch theme. So the more pumpkins, the better. And I love the texture that these pumpkins are bringing to my hutch as well. Comment down below and let me know. Do you like traditional orange pumpkins, green pumpkins? Do you like the pumpkins that look realistic, that have a little bit of brown tone and it looks kind of rustic? Let me know what kind of pumpkin tone colors you like and if you like decorating with pumpkins for the fall season. Then here I'm going to take my light up garland that I purchased from Family Dollars for $5. You guys, this was such a good deal for this little light up garden. Um, I want to say it's like six, six feet long um, and I love it. Look how this looks lit up. I love the orange tone with the yellow tone. I love the pops of color. So I'm going to simply untangle this because yes, it gets tangled so easily and I'm going to display the light up leaves um fall leaves at the top of the hutch right along with my pumpkins i wanted to incorporate some lights on my hutch just to give it that nice sparkly warm light tone at night when all the lights are off and just give it that twinkle effect you, 
so as you guys can see i was struggling here i'm not gonna lie it was taking me some time to get this garland up to stay put um the way i liked it but it's okay that's the fun part of decorating you got to take your time and sometimes you have to do it over and over again until it's just right but i think i got the hang of it oh and of course i needed my stool you guys that's what was missing my stool i'm way too short i can't reach anything so i had to go get my handy dandy stool so that i can fix this garland at the top of my hutch and place it exactly where i want it to be placed and in just a second you'll see how it turns out look at my little one over there all up in my video yes this is real life mom life my little one you'll see her from time to time and in just a second i'm gonna take my plates that i purchased from dollar general for eight dollar yes eight dollar and look at all that goodness i love plaid if anyone knows me knows i love me some plaid doesn't matter the color of the plaid i love buffalo plaid and i'm loving the orange and white pumpkins and i'm loving that the plate says thankful so i was going to use these on my dining room table because i prefer to decorate with plastic plates due to my kids um but with that being said i decided to use my plates from last year and i didn't want these to go to waste so instead of using vintage plates that i have i was like you know what jessica you're gonna use these dollar plates and display them here on your hutch and i absolutely love how it turned out you can decorate your hutch on a budget with affordable pieces from Dollar Tree, from Dollar General. You can also go thrifting and find some amazing affordable pieces. So here I'm just gonna use some greenery that I've already had on my hutch. I'm just reusing it. And what I did was I took these three different color tone pumpkins that I had from last year from Dollar Tree. They have little clips on the back and I just clipped it right on the greenery. And I love it because it just gives it that nice pop of greenery that ties in nicely with the orange. And you guys, let me know. How do you decorate your hutch? Do you decorate in like pairs of two, three, or four? I like to decorate in pairs of three or four. To me, it just seems like it flows nicely. And because I have such a small hutch, I don't really like to overpack my like the shelves on my hutch because I want you to be able to see like the decor pieces. So I like to layer, but not too much, if that makes any sense. And then here is this basket that I brought from Hobby Lobby last year. And I just used one of my napkins that I brought from Hobby Lobby and placed it right in the center of the basket. And I just put in just random pumpkins that I had laying around around the house. And I love how this looks. And then here, this terracotta vase actually comes from walmart and it came with some floral picks but i didn't like them so i took them out and i put in some floral picks that i already had in a pumpkin pick and i love how it looks so right here i'm gonna put my mini little cake stand in the center on the top shelf and in just a second you'll see this little cute pumpkin pie look at it it's actually glass i got it from hobby lobby for i believe i want to say like a dollar 99 and it's just the cutest so i decided to display it right here in the center of my cake stand and look how this looks i absolutely love it Now I'm going to take these two coasters. They were they came in a pack of two for a dollar from Dollar General. And I'm just going to place them right here in front of the plates. Because in just a second, I'm going to be putting my orange and white plaid little um, coffee mugs right in the front. Look at them. They say grateful. And one says blessed. They come in a set of four. I use one for the top of the hutch to hold up my pumpkin. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And the fourth one I have in my cabinet so I can drink out of because I didn't need all four of them. Now look at these gorgeous 
happy and one says happy pumpkin one says hello pumpkin they're little starbucks frappuccinos obviously they're not real i purchased them from amazon a few years ago and i absolutely love them so i paired it with the coffee mug and look at it just look at it doesn't it look so yummy even though i know it isn't real it looks so yummy with the whipped cream and the jimmies on the whipped cream i really love how this paired nicely together and i'm just gonna simply display them right here on the coaster in front of the plate and you see it did not come as a set the plate or the cups but it's still tied nicely together so now here is my plaid tray that i purchased from dollar general for a dollar you guys i'm gonna keep saying that for a dollar from dollar general i'm trying to tell you you can decorate on a budget <laughs> so right now i'm gonna take these gorgeous wicker pumpkins look at them they are so gorgeous i'm loving the wooden stem i got a fairly large one and two small ones to display right next to the large one and i'm loving it and i decided to get this tone of pumpkin this color tone because i didn't want to get orange ones and then my huts just look like this so much orange so i got these wicker pumpkins so that it can break up the color tone as well as give my hutch some texture so i'm really loving how this looks and i'm just simply displaying them on the tray in the center on the second shelf and in just a second I'm going to wrap around these little pumpkin twinkle lights that I purchased from Dollar Tree last year for $1.25. And I'm just going to reuse them this year. I'm trying to tell you guys, reuse what you have. Don't go crazy overspending if you can't afford it. Reuse what you have. And I'm trying to tell you, you can use it in different ways. And it will look just as good as it did the year before. So I'm going to take these little lights and wrap them around the pumpkins because I want Want my hutch to have some warm lights on it so at night when i turn off the lights i can just have some twinkle lights sparkling on the hutch and throughout my house um because i have twinkle lights pretty much everywhere throughout the house downstairs for fall and i love that glowy effect it gives at night and then i just took those little acorns i used those for fillers i purchased them from hobby lobby last year and i just use them to fill in spaces and then this gorgeous wreath that i purchased about three years ago off of amazon lights up and i'm not going to use it as a wreath instead i'm going to display it with the pumpkin in the center of it and you'll see that in just a second so here's this gorgeous pumpkin that i purchased from walmart for five dollars last year and i'm just going to place it right in the center of the wreath and i love it now welcome to our pumpkin patch love that i got this sign from dollar general for three dollars and i thought it went perfect because i love to call my house the little pumpkin patch home because i decorate throughout my house with tons of pumpkins and fall leaves so i thought this sign would be perfect here on my bottom shelf And then I'm going to take my tiny little tear tray that I simply added this little Hello Autumn sign, which it looks like it's a little wagon with pumpkins in it for a dollar. And then the rolling pin was a dollar twenty five from Dollar Tree. I purchased that last year. And then I just paired some pumpkins behind it that I had in my storage unit from last year. I believe those pumpkins came from Dollar Tree as well. And then I just simply displayed it on the bottom shelf. And then those two glass orange pumpkins are from Dollar Tree. I purchased those this year and I'm just going to place them on the top shelf just to fill in some spaces. Look at this cute little guy right here, my little scarecrow. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby last year, and I'm just going to pair him right here by the basket on the second shelf with his legs dangling. He is adorable. And then in just a second, you're going to see a little pumpkin espresso mug that I'm going to put right by the terracotta pot. There it goes, just to fill in some spaces. And then I'm going to show you guys the final reveal, and that will be it for today's video. If you have stuck around this, far i hope you consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you a part of my youtube family and i will see you guys in my next video happy september love you all bye
she won't be mine. I listen when she talks. I watch her when she walks. She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before. But she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go. She will never know, na na, never know, na na. She will never know, na na, never know, na na. She'll never know. It's like she stole my heart without knowing she did. But I guess that it will pass. I can't be the only one who got lost inside the blue of those eyes. I've gotta let her go. I know it won't be easy. I wanna hold her close, but I have to try, try as hard as I can, 'cause she'll never be mine. I listen when she talks. I watch her when she walks. She's giving me these feelings.